Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, checking in on this November 20th, 2019, 5.50 p.m. West Coast time here in California, and earthquake activity on the ramp up right now. Worldwide, it appears, the latest large quake, a 6.1 magnitude quake, striking in the Thailand region. Uh, that's definitely a pretty powerful shaker for that area. Also, we're seeing some major deep movement up here just off the coast of Russia. A uh, large 6.3 magnitude quake striking uh, 486 kilometers below the surface. Now that is exceptionally deep uh, and we're seeing it on the large size as well as far as that magnitude goes. Um, all this activity is following a large quake that uh, well occurred some time ago off the coast of uh, Mexico there, the 6.3. I believe that one was, uh, uh, what was the date on that? I'm pretty sure I did an update video on it. But uh, yeah, that's the older large quake, but the newer quake right now, newer quakes, I should say, definitely on this part of the globe, as we're seeing there, um, over here towards the western part of the Pacific and also further west uh, of, the, uh, of that hot spot area in the Pacific Ring of Fire is that uh, 6.1 there. Uh, zooming in a little bit closer here on this globe, I know we can't get a whole bunch of detail on this type of map or uh, the exact um, name here, but uh, it's... I'm not even going to pronounce it, uh, but it's in Thailand, and quite a few folks there uh, reported filling it. We can also bring up this other map here, um, but not that small. We can increase it just a little bit here um, and get on a different scale. Uh, this is once again just a one day, 2.5 magnitudes and above, and this is from the USGS. I can uh, zoom out here a little bit and uh, zoom in over here where I want to be, over here in the... Uh, this part of the world it's just a lot of weird stuff going on today a lot of uh, a lot of negative discharge in the air if you will of course it could be the wind who knows because wind does create uh, static and whatnot but uh, not to get too far off topic here uh, let's go ahead and zoom in over here on the uh, continent over here towards that 6.1 there in Thailand once again this here is the uh, area of interest that we're discussing here this one was at about 10 kilometers below the surface and quite a few folks uh, reported filling it no doubt it's a shallow earthquake and definitely large uh, so there's no doubt i'm sure there's probably a little bit of damage over there in that part of the world i'm not for sure exactly how much I'm not going to go into estimates but uh the shake map and the pager uh, at least the shake map is on the yellow side it's yellow side uh well that's kind of weird not for sure what happened there um Okay, interesting activity. Anyway, uh, a few folks right there reported feeling it on the responses. Uh, and as I mentioned, yeah, something weird's going on uh, with the uh, pagers yellow. And um, yeah, just strange stuff going on today, folks. A lot of earthquakes, a lot of weird, uh, strange activity in my world anyway economic or estimated economic losses are in a green zone for the pager uh, fatalities in the green as well uh, which is a good thing but uh, definitely a shaker no doubt uh, quite a few folks filling it uh, looks like there might be a slight chance of possible fatalities they're stating uh, one to ten people they're putting it at about 30 percent in the yellow um, so I don't know, maybe a little mix up there uh, with the USGS information coming in. We'll have to update it um, when we can get more relevant information in there. But uh, yeah, stay alert out there, folks. A lot of activity happening worldwide. Uh, we've seen a 5.0 over there yesterday, um, just to the west, further west over here in this region. I'm not for sure exactly where that's at, uh, geographically speaking. Nepal, okay, 5.0 over there in Nepal region. Uh, that was uh, close to yesterday, I should say. It's got the red color rings indicating older earthquake activity there. But uh, just take a look at this globe here, folks, and look at the large... Check out... Let me back out just a little bit here. Maybe you can see it a little bit better here. Look at all those quakes that are raised off the ground, or off the globe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Those are deep earthquakes there. And that's something to watch, as we're seeing some major movement on the northwest part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Uh, which could have some play into the activity that's occurring further west um, in the region of Thailand just now with that 6.1. Uh, 
Um, so be on guard uh, at this date uh, and this time frame. I would say pretty much anywhere is a, a good spot to be on guard if you live here on on this planet. Uh, West Coast, um, a lot of activity up through the Aleutian Islands as well. And as I mentioned, the 6.3 down there in Mexico earlier. Uh, most recent quake is going to be this 4.2 down here in South America. Of course, as always, you know, the Pacific Plate being its own entity does have its uh, uh, effects on other plates as well. Once it moves to a certain direction, uh, pressure uh, could possibly increase in, in that area. Um, and, and it could increase in other areas as well along the plate boundaries. So that's why I say it. When, when we're seeing all this activity like this on the increase and ramp up, it's good to pay attention, uh, be on guard, as uh, it's possible we could see further activity um, following these large quakes and very deep quakes at it uh, at that at that uh, time as well. So in the meantime, I'm going to jump off here, get this update video up. I uh, just want to do a couple updates, uh, at least on those earthquakes that are popping off there in the Thailand region and uh, that big one up there and uh, let me get the exact coordinates here of that 6.3 see where that thing's at they got it set at 267 kilometers off the coast of uh, Russia and historically uh, quite a few quakes out there it's definitely uh, an active area um, but uh, like I said deep movement cause for concern for uh, potentially larger magnitude quakes near the surface um, and uh, that will be uh, that uh, we'll let that be and see what happens here in the meantime uh, we're gonna jump off here put this 4.2 back up on the most recent flag and uh, man that quake is so far off the globe I have to kind of keep it I'd have to keep the globe pretty small just to keep that in there but uh, we're not going to do that. It's just a little bit too small. But uh, just know that that's a pretty deep earthquake that uh, took place up there off the coast of Russia today. Have a good one, folks. Uh, we'll probably jump back on here a little bit later, see how things are cooking. And uh, we'll chat you guys a little bit later. Peace.